our final example from 4.3, example 8. Uh, from 1981 to 1999, the average time of a Major League Baseball game tended to increase each year. And if the year 1981 is represented by x equals 1, then the function t of x equals 149.57 equals 7.63 natural log of x. Remember, natural log is log base e. Okay. Uh, approximates the average time t in minutes of a Major League Baseball game for the years 1981 to 1999. That is for x equals 1 to 19. Now that right there, a lot of stuff is happening in that um, statement. Okay, that it's going to happen in a lot of problems that I want you to get comfortable with because they do this quite often in the book and it's something that I would recommend you do also when you create your own function involving years. Okay, when you deal with years 1981, 1999, 2015, whatever year we're in, um, they're representing the year they're starting with as x equals 1. So 1981 means x equals 1, 1999 is x equals 19. So instead of having to make some function with a minus 1980 in it, you know, so it works, they, they can just represent this function based on this pattern, based on year 1, year 2, year 3, and so on. They do that quite often, so be comfortable with that. The other thing we have to consider is the equation. We have t of x, t of x is t. T is the average time of game in minutes. All right, so again, they're giving us an equation. We need to understand what these variables in the equation represent. The variable T of X, which is T, is the average time in minutes. And um, it says ln X, all right, 149.57 is a number, 7.63 is a number, ln is a log function, X is a variable, um, X is the year. So, and the years, the domain is 1 to 19. So, this function is only valid for years 1981 to 1999. So, from 1 to 19 is the only number this is valid for. So, if they're asking me for the time, they should give me the year. I substitute the year in based on what number that year is, and then that'll tell me what the time is. If they tell me what year it is, or so if they tell me what the time is, I should be able to figure out what year it was. All right, so that's, that's kind of the, the thing happening here. So I've got an equation. I've got two variables. If they tell me this one, I find that one and vice versa. So use the function t to determine the average time of a Major League Baseball game during the 1981 season and during the 1999 season. And again, 1981, we have to establish that that means x equals 1. That means that they're asking me the average time of the game in 1981. I have to do t of 1. So I do 149.57 plus 7.63 natural log of 1. And that's 7.63. Oh, 7 Alright, so 7.63 is being multiplied by the natural log, right? What's the natural log of 1 equal? No. Rule says log of one base oh. c equals. Oh. Doesn't matter what the base is, log of one is always equal to zero. All right. If it was log ln log base 77 log base 0.2, if it's log of one, the answer is zero. 7.63 times zero is zero, so t of one comes out to 149.57. What unit should go on that? Minutes. Because. It says up here minutes, right? So minutes. So just under two and a half hours. Average Major League Baseball game in 1981. Assuming that's accurate, that's pretty quick baseball game. That's, I like that. All right. The other thing they ask us is during the 1999 season. So again, 1999 represents x equals what? x equals 19. And they told us right here x equals 19. They're telling us that. But even if they didn't tell us that, look and see how this number relates to this number. Subtraction. 1981 minus 1 is 1980. We're subtracting 1980 from the year to get that. So subtract 1980 from 1999, you get 19. So there's, there's a way to find it even if they don't tell you that. All right. So if x equals 19, we're trying to find t of 19. That's going to be 149.57 plus 7.63 times the natural log of 19. Do you know the natural log of 19 off the top of your head? No. Me neither. So at this point, um, ln and log are the two things my calculator does know how to do with log so far. So I'm going to type in uh, 149.57 plus 7.63 times ln, and make sure we use the ln, not the log, because that's what it tells us in the problem. 19 in parentheses. Anything you have to evaluate with logarithms with your calculator in this section will be either ln or log. 
Otherwise, it should be a base that you'd be able to monkey with the, um, the, the argument enough to get a power there so you can get this nice pretty answer based on it. We haven't learned how to evaluate any logs except for E and 10 with our calculator. So if it says any base other than E or 10, expect that that argument can be written as that base raised to some power. So you can use that rule to evaluate it. 172.04 minutes. Just eight minutes less than two hours, or less than three hours now. So it's increasing. And again, that's what told us is happening. Is the average time has been increasing each year, so it makes sense that the time in 1999 would be more than the time in 1980. All right. So that's it. That's as far as part A is concerned. Evaluate t when x equals these numbers. All right. So here's a function. Here's what t and x represent. Evaluate t when x equals this. Uh, it says, by how much did the average time of Major League Baseball game increase during the years? How do we figure that out? Subtract. Just subtract them, right? We know how what the times are, so we just subtract. So 172.04 minus 149.57. And sometimes geotrig is just basic math. Okay, I mean sometimes it is. It's just a matter of understanding what, what it is you found and how to work with that. Of course, I can't subtract 4 and 7, so I'm going to borrow from here to make that a 1 to make this a 10. So I can borrow from that to make that a 9 and add 14. Minus 7 is 7. 9 minus 5 is 4. How to borrow again here, 11 minus 9 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So 22.47 minutes is the amount of increase in time between the two games. Let me just throw one other thing out at you. Suppose they ask for what year um, it happened such that um, the Major League Baseball game was 160 minutes. What year did that happen in? So we know it started here, it ended there, right? And it's an increasing function because that's, that's what they told us happened, right? What year um, was it a Major League Baseball game? 160 minutes, so something between these. You don't know how to solve a logarithmic equation yet, so what, I'm, what I would do in that situation, I'd go y equals, clear this out, and I would type in my function, which is the 149.57 plus 7.63 ln x. Keep in mind that what I've typed in, x is still the year, and y1 is now the um, number of minutes, right? And I want the number of minutes to be 160, so I make 160 the second function. I set a window. x goes from 1 to 19, because that's what they told me x goes from and 2. As far as y is concerned, that's the smallest, that's the biggest. As long as it's between that, I'd go maybe 148 to 175. No magic to those numbers, just... Everything will happen between that, right? And then I maybe go up by fives or twos, or I don't know, let's go up by fives, see graphs, what happens. So there's our time curve going on there. And then there's our 160. If we do an intersect of the two, second calc five, first curve, enter, second curve, enter, guess, enter. Again, there's only one point of intersection, two curves. 3.92 years. So 3.92 plus 1980, right? So 1983.92, which would be during the 1983 season. It's before 1984 happened. So rather than rounding, just you truncate, you chop off the decimals. All right, rounding means go to the nearest one. But when you deal with what year it happened in, yeah. it's 0 0.92 year in December, but you're still in that year. Okay, so that's how you handle that. So that's when the, the ball game would have been, during the 1983 season, baseball game would have been 160 minutes. All right? Um, that's how to handle that situation should it occur. Uh, use a graph and just set the, if they give you this part here, y2 is that, y1 is that, find where they intersect, and that'll get you your answer. And round appropriately or truncate or whatever, so depending on what the context of the problem is.